thoughtful moment indeed. The national anthem and a crowd anxiously awaiting the tip-off. It's an Eastern Conference battle here at the Air Canada Centre in downtown Toronto as the Raptors look to work their home court event. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. The key for us is just to play on self play Draw the help, get to the open man. If we execute our offense, we'll be fine. Guys? In terms of their offense, nothing seemed to go right. And once they started spiraling downward, there was right through the roof, and you can't win when that's the case. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Here's the captain. He's coming up a 34-point game against Phoenix. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Jason Smith, he's checked in for last. Most of the rebounds seem to be going their way. And, Steve, I think they are ready for the fight today. And a fast break now for New York. Drops in the breakaway layup. The captain. Just four seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Williams. No luck. And there's the horn. We've seen some good defense on both sides, and uh, the score is still close. Raptors lead by two. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. J.J. Barea, quick scoring guard, great attacking off of pick and rolls. And for his size, I'll tell you what, he has an impressive ability to finish around the rim. Patterson is the four with Dallin Shunis, Williams. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Take a look at the Knicks. They're eighth in the conference and really looking to improve on the back end of the season. And, of course, Toronto, two games back. You know, right now for the Knicks, their season hasn't been great and it hasn't been terrible. It's been fairly pedestrian. A few times it's looked like they're about players singled out for flopping. And that's mitigated one of his best defensive weapons. Jason Smith. 8% last season, partner. You throw in his floater in the lane, a nice in-between game. You may not be in the lead. And he gets the bucket. Jason, crafty pass work there, getting it down low for the easy. Have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Ask to Berea. Here's the captain. He's got 24. He feeds a two outlaw. And it's off from three-point range. A three. And again, New York with the triple. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been... Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. So for Toronto right now, Lewis Williams out there with Terrence Ross. And it's Hayes. Hold her up. Pass to the captain. Shoots the three. That ball's nice speed this time. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Calderon against Ross. It's rebounded by the captain. New York's billion. The shot's good from the captain. The captain. Knicks with the rebound. The captain's got three rebounds now in this one. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Smith, the pass to the captain. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. That's good from the captain. The new front off. Gotta be sky high. Oh, scooped up. The captain passes to Smith. The captain. Back to Smith. He dishes it to Stoudemire. Second shot opportunity. The captain. Feeds it to Berea. Let's it go with a three. They recover it. And it's gonna be a 24 second round and start contributing. Williams kicks to Berea. Back to Williams. And that shot misses everything. Air ball on the three. Knicks trail by 18. Here's the captain. 
The finger roll finish at the bucket. There by the hoop. He probably should make that one. 115 left in the fourth quarter. The shot's good from Stott, and the Knicks miss again. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. And this one was such a lopsided victory. You blocked three shots tonight. How important is blocking shots to your total defensive game? Is it something you spend a lot of time on in practice? Oh, yeah. It's one of the things I'm constantly working on. You know, anticipating shots better, reading a guy's body language, trying to not get fooled by head and ball fakes. But that's really only a small part of playing defense. Positioning, footwork, reading the offense, knowing when to help. All of that stuff's important, too. And like you saw tonight, if we don't win the game, then there's something we're not doing right. So I may have had a few blocks, man, but we're still going to have plenty to work on in practice tomorrow. Coach will make Hey, well, uh, thanks for seeing me, man. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I've been playing really well, but I'm just not getting the minutes I need to really make as big an impact as I'd like to. I'm afraid those kind of decisions are out of my hands. I assemble the roster. Coach decides the minutes. Well, he's playing favorites. I'm busting my tail out there in games and in practice, but when the game's in the balance, I'm watching. If my game isn't appreciated, maybe I'd be better off somewhere else. What do you think, huh? Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Look, my only priority, and his only priority, is winning. That's all I can say. Make the most of the minutes you're getting and play for your teammates, not just yourself. Hey, man, I, I just wanted to sit down and talk for a minute. You know, this losing thing has really been tough for all of us, and uh, I know you have to think long term as well, but if there's any way we could get some immediate help, we could really use it, man. Really. Well, it's tough, you know. To get something, you've got to give something up. So I'll keep working the phones and see what's out there. But in the meantime, just keep at it and always ask yourself, what can you do to make this team better? Just really struggling with this team, man. I've got to be honest here. I don't think we're headed in the right direction at all. Here in the front office and beyond, we pay very close attention to the state of the team. Rest assured, if action needs to be taken, we'll take it if we think it's the best course for the team. Do you think we need to make a change at the head coaching level to get things back on track? Man, that's a decision you need to make. I'm just here telling you what my eyes and ears are picking up. You feel me? I know you'll be ready. No doubt. All right, well, uh, thank you. And uh, good talk, man. I'll, I'll see you. For right now, we need everyone focused on this upcoming game against the Wizards. I know you'll be ready. Ah, New York City. What a great view in the bright lights of the Big Apple. Welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas with our Santas, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. It really proved to be a pleasant surprise for the Knicks. Here's Huffman and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And amongst a rookie class that struggled to make much of an impact last season, Tim Hardaway Jr. probably exceeded expectations more than any other rookie. Wouldn't you say, Steve? Oh, yeah, I agree. I thought he was terrific. He shot the ball well in every pass and ran the floor in transition. Played within himself. Like a lot of Michigan players, you know, he's very skilled. He dribble, pass, and shoot. And really was a perfect fit with that Knicks team. The captain passes to Barnyan. Stole to the bowl. You know, you shoot the ball as poorly as they did that night, you're not going to win any games. Well, Steve, it's not just difficult to win a game with low shooting percentages like theirs. It's nearly impossible. Uh, a team considered to be an afterthought in the playoffs, but they did as well as any could have hoped for in terms of getting to the second round and pushing the Pacers to six games. In that oh, no. Not the guy you want to put on the line, Kevin. He's an ATM from the free throw line. Well, with the Wizards, a good postseason run, taking care of business, beating Chicago in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> the problem for the Knicks last year is that they didn't really do any one thing in an outstanding. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but they really challenged him. Just to turn it around nicely this quarter. The shot is good from the captain. The offense has a better flop of getting it inside in the first. I mean, they were conscious of throwing that ball in the paint and attacking the rim. Catching up on the changes for New York. 
And there's the pass to the captain. Good on the triple. Pass to the captain. And again, New York with the triple. Money on players, so the Knicks appear to be spending big on amenities. Cut the bucket. Get up in it. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. That's good. Gatorade. And Steve and Clark and I are refreshed and ready to go here as well. Hello outside of the fifth quarter. Here's Huffman. Drills the three-pointer. The captain's got the outside Anthony. He passes to the captain. That one falls. Coming. The kick out to Wall. Nice ball movement by Washington. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. Chance now to check out the Washington Wizards upcoming schedule. Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Just three to shoot. Here's Beal. And finally they hit one. Beal's got five points now this quarter. Knicks trail by nine. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. No good from the captain. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. The captain's got 35. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change playing. The pass to Shumper. And he gets it to go. Here's the captain. They need this one. He takes it up and lays it in. Time He can protect the ball and finish through contact. Just an impressive player in the paint. And Steve, that's not a... And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, with the game out of reach, intentional fouls don't mean anything. It's just an exercise in futility. Let the clock go. I agree with you, Clark. It just doesn't really compute at this point. And Six triples for you tonight. Even with all of that output contributing to your team's scoring, do you wish you would have shot the ball more? You got to pick your spots, man. I don't like to force things too much, and I think tonight I played within the flow pretty well. You know... We weren't able to get the win, but me trying to be even more aggressive probably would have made things worse. They were just the better team tonight. They had our number all game longs. We'll get them next.